Well, the next pair will be John Force and Tony Pedragon. They're on the line. And now we're out to prove there is absolutely no privacy in this world at all because Ashley Force Hood here in the booth with us kind of got her throat back. The desert is not a pleasant place to be this weekend. A lot of allergens in the air. But what about your ultrasound oh. we, we just happened to have that we just thought we'd show yeah, that to everybody thanks, dad he shares it with the world no it's been great you know we're really excited my husband and i got to go in last week and get our ultrasound and see the baby we asked we only want to see the top half we don't want to know what the gender is so we're gonna be old-fashioned and wait till the very end to find out but it's great well i'll tell you me and sandy did that with samantha the first time we didn't want to know and all the doctors says oh it's gonna be a boy and Guess what? They were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so even though you're not in the cockpit, you're doing a lot of things. You have a book working out, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we're working on a children's activity book, um, complete with, like, touch the rubber of the tire and hear the sound of the, the warm-up and the comic book that we're working on, Destination Force, um, with uh, my dad. So it's very exciting. I'm over at our pits filming our teams in between rounds, so I feel like I'm more busy than I really was last year racing, but it's a lot of fun, very creative. Uh, so are you saying thing. your dad's comic? <laughs> no. He's, he's, no. He's bigger than life in the comic book. <laughs> we get to play with that. <laughs> oh, boy. That'll be fun. John Forrest Racing has been doing pretty good lately. We, uh, in fact, have some numbers to even back that up. Do you have any idea? Let's have the insight on John Forrest Racing. Why is the team working so well right now? I think it's because we've had the same kind of group of people these last few years, not many big changes. Even though I stepped out, you know, Mike stepped right in. And so everyone's really comfortable. They're close friends on these teams. They enjoy working together. And um, when you have a team like that and you have great sponsors and funding to support your team, you can't really go wrong. Speaking of that, any other people to step in in the near future? Uh, hopefully Courtney will move up into pro maybe in the next year. We'll see how this year goes. She's very excited, loves the funny cars, and uh, she's doing really good in testing, so we'll have to wait and see. Oh, that's great. So, on the line, her dad, John Forrest, and that man, Tony Pedregon. Hey, Courtney? Tony Pedragon. Is that gonna make Dad a little harder to live with now? Uh, <laughs> harder than normal? Yeah. yeah. You wanna Is stay that in? possible? You wanna stay in here for a while? <laughs> we'll lock the door. <laughs> stay here for the rest of the race, Ashley. I'll tell you, we take a look at this photo finish. It's just a great drag race margin of victory, just over a, a thousandth of a second. Look how close that was. Tony Schumacher, or Tony Pedragon, shooting that fire out there just a little over five inches at the stripe. It looks even closer than that to me. You know, this has turned out to be a great race weekend. We were wondering what the hot temperatures would do. Now, there's a test here on Monday. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, her. Is yep. she testing? Yeah, Courtney's going to be um, running uh, Dad's car with my old team. So we're all family here, but um, I'm excited. I'm, you know, I'm very trustworthy of my guys. They've been really good to Courtney. It's hard when you're a new driver. You're going to make mistakes, and it's good to have a team backing you that knows that, and they're not going to pick on you about it. All right, it. are you correcting everything Dad's telling her? <laughs> What? <laughs> no, we let him say his thing, and then we take her aside, and we translate his version into what normal people will understand. Let's go to the stat guy, Lewis. Well, think about this. We've been here at Las Vegas spring and fall 22 times now. The only driver to win from the pole, he was a part of John Force Racing back in 2003, and that was Tony Pedregon when he won the championship. Can you believe that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Ashley, hope you can stay with us for a couple more pair here as Funny Car continues the strip, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Yep, there's another. Another John Forrest car. Robert Height will be coming up, ready to face the DSR car of Jack Beckman. Back in the pit, Antron Brown, they fall on that thing. They're getting it ready for the semis. 